Hey, we're here with Jose Miraflor, Director of Product Marketing at Cobra Puma Golf. He's going to tell us about what's coming out for 2015. Thanks for having me. Uh, we have a great line of metal woods coming out this year. It's called The Family is the Fly Z Family. And it really has three different, addresses three different types of ball flight. One is the Fly Z Plus family. It's designed uh, to be our longest, most adjustable driver, typically for somebody with a lot of swing speed, a lot of launch, and a lot of spin. Um, to help that person hit it a little bit lower, uh, we have two weight positions on this driver. You can either be in the front CG location, which features a really penetrating ball flight, or you can flip this and move it over to the back CG position, which will add about 400 RPMs of spin. It'll launch the ball of about the same launch condition, but because it has more spin, will peak height a lot higher. So low, medium ball flight, um, a 460 head that has a lot of technologies into it. Number one, you can't tell, but it's a carbon fiber crown, carbon fiber windows. So we're moving all the weight from the high and in the, in the set out from the outside to move it all low into this 15 gram movable weight. Another feature on all the metal woods is this new speed channel uh, face. The speed channel face is a smiling face about what's going on, not just on the outside, but on the inside. We're removing a ton of weight from both the face and even the internal of the hosel to save that weight to put it where it matters most, which is in this weight here that can slide front to back. To complement this, for somebody who's looking for a, a long distance, but with, some, with a little bit more forgiveness, this is the Fly Z driver and the Fly Z driver features only one position, back CG. And if you hold these drivers next to each other, this is even more extreme back. So this in its position is 300 RPMs more spin than this in the back. Okay. So really, but what? notice how much larger it is. It's yeah. a larger address value. They're both 460 heads. This is more compact and addressed. This one's wider, so it's very, very forgiving. Somebody looking for the most forgiving driver in their game, this is going to be it. It's at uh, above four, above 5,000 MOI, and that means just really super forgiving for most people. So, stronger swinger, average guy with strong swing speeds too can be here, and then you have the Fly ZXL, which is all about easy up, is all about easy draw okay. to help correct a slice problem if somebody has one. This too has a back CG position, but this driver has offset. Okay. Offset on this driver helps this ball go both uh, to the to the left and higher. Um, so really, the three families are designed for uh, different types of golfers. How much weight are we? Are you moving around with the uh, the weight port? So this is 15 grams here. Okay. Right, that we remove from all around to around. This is a fixed eight and a half gram, but underneath here is a giant weight pad I that you. keeps it fixed in that position. And we use this to swing weight and final swing weight for people. Right. So, gapping your long game is probably one of the things that most people don't do enough. If you think about it today, golf courses are getting longer. We all want to feel like we could play longer golf courses. So our shots are getting longer into to greens. And one of the things I think will be the focus this year for a lot of golfers is to gap your longest hittable iron to your driver. Those are pretty fixed, right? You've maximized your driver. You have this iron you can hit. You know you can depend on it. Now everything in between. We have a line of Fly Z fairways and hybrids that allow you to choose the right launch condition for you. So each one of them is equipped just like the Metal Woods with MyFly technology that gives you a range of about three degrees to move the launch up and down. What does that mean? That means you can adjust your distance for typical golfer plus five yards or minus five yards. So if you literally graph your number, I hit my driver 250, I hit my four iron that I would use at about 190. So now I have 60 yards in there to spread three clubs. Where would I want them to fall for me personally or for the golf course I play? You can use that to dial in your distances, which is very, very cool. And I think most people really need to get into what that means for them. The other thing that um, is interesting, with this loft adjustment, typically if you adjust more loft, you get hooked face, you take away loft, you get open face. We, all of our clubs feature MyFly, but they also feature this smart pad design, which is this really small area here that no matter what loft you put your, your club into, it's going to sit square. Super, super important because you're just trying to dial in distance, not face angle here.
Well, great. Well, thank you very much. I know a lot of guys on our site talk about some gapping issues, especially when you get in the long clubs. Yeah. So I think that's a, a great way to do that. I especially like the uh, the smart pad there. Keep things. Tour uh, players have yeah. a certain way they like to gap it. They're not evenly gapped. Everybody has this thing where like, hey, I, I know I can hit my three wood a little shorter. Yeah. So there might be a gap between your three wood and your longest hybrid. People don't mind that. So everybody's um, a little different. The good news is you get to go tinker around on your golf course and figure out what's right for you. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.